what's up everybody it's your boy mr movie x kicks and i'm about to do the review of sing 2 now i saw the movie sing 2 over the christmas i mean over the thanksgiving break um it was released in theaters for only one day um now it's coming out officially uh next month i think it's uh december 27th or 25th right before christmas so uh i have to say i was highly impressed with this movie um I actually loved it. So, I'm going to break down the premise. Oh, and if you guys like uh, movie reviews, TV show reviews, sneaker reviews, uh, video game reviews, think about subscribing to the channel. If you like what's up, please give me a like. I have a slew of new subscribers. So, please drop those comments after this video of what you think. And also, just say hello. Say, hey, I'm a new subscriber. Drop those comments down at the bottom. So, but without further ado, let's get into it. Buster Moon and his all-star cast of animal performers are about to perform the most dazzling show in Red Store City, which is basically the equivalent of Las Vegas in their world. There's just one problem. In order to fulfill this lifelong dream of Buster Moon in performing in this major city, they must find the most elusive rock star in the world, Clay Calloway. Yeah. And if they cannot persuade Clay Calloway to join this all-star cast in, ex in extravaganza performance, the dream of Buster Moon and others will be tarnished forever. Now, I have to say, this was a very, very, very good movie. Um, I, I like the, the running time of this movie was 150 minutes. So it was almost two hours. It was almost pretty much just as far as the last one. But the thing I liked about this movie is they gave everyone a significant amount of time. Uh, now, we know from the original movie, um, the original cast, basically everyone is back. But as we know, they pretty much focus on just... Uh, Taryn Itchigen's character, Johnny, um, obviously they have new additions, Bono, oh. Calloway, excuse me, uh, Tori Kelly is Melina, um, Ash is uh, our scholar Johansson, Halsey and plays Portia, which is a very funny character, she's very kind of, sounds like, uh, has that uh, Harley Quinn, uh, New York accent, and I, I really love her rendition, Seth MacFarlane had joined the cast as well, um, but to me, this was an all-star kind of cast movie and of all-star proportions. But I really like the, the story of this. It was, to me, it had a little more heart. Uh, they went in death with a lot more of the characters uh, as far as also, I'd say, Reese Witherspoon's character as well. They got, they go more depth with, um, in, in a short amount of time, you get that uh, backstory for everyone. Now, like, things have expanded since the last one because the last one came out in 2016, so a lot of things have changed kind of with Johnny as well and his father who was in prison who now is out doing good for the community, which you see him in a part of the movie where he helps out and a tremendous help. And to me, uh, one of the most surprising was uh, Bobby Valent, Bobby, uh, was it Bobby Campbell, played by uh, Jimmy Crystal. Uh, he was basically the quote-unquote villain of the movie he was the person who owned the hotel where they were doing this extravagant um show and he told them if he didn't get clay calloway to join them then he basically would pretty much kill buster moon so they had that pressure of putting on this extravagant show and getting this reclusive uh rock star and they do a lot a lot of backstories behind him on why he's kind of been hit hiding away and i love the story behind him and also to get a rock legend of bono to play him was to me a beautiful like i was thinking he was more I, I, he sounded almost like sting like in the and i when i found out it was bono i was like okay i can hear it so but uh to me this was a beautiful movie beautiful runtime movie uh to me you really we rarely get movies that surpass the first one uh, in my personal opinion i thought this was if not as better than the first one just as good uh, you it's know, kind of elevate their game. Like, you know, they, they, they conquered the small city and the small town they're in, and now they want to go to the major state. They want to go to the big city of Red Shore. They want to go to the big Red Shore city, which is pretty much like the equivalent of a Las Vegas. So they were, you know, on this extravagant, uh, extravagant hotel, putting on this epic show of proportions to really launch Buster Moon in them, to start them to even bigger and better proportions if they could just get this elusive character of Clay Calloway to perform with them as well. So, and like the story, it doesn't really go all over the place. It's very centralized and it's very in, in the tech. So I really love that about this story and that they kind of just really expanded upon all the characters that we kind of love. But I have to say like, I really love this movie. Like I, I like I said, I thought it was just as good as the original, if not a little better. Uh, the storyline was pretty much just as good. The comedy was there. Um, a great family fun movie. Like I said, that wasn't too long, wasn't too short. Uh, 
fluidity of the movie was great. Uh, I took my I took my goddaughter to see it. She loved it. Pretty much everyone that left loved the movie. So uh, like this movie does come out. I want to say Christmas. Oh, so you're gonna have this will be a good Christmas present for everyone to go see on Christmas. Good family movie. So if you guys like uh, movie reviews, sneaker reviews, TV show reviews, then go subscribe to the channel. If you like what you saw, please give me a like. And like I said, I know a lot of people have not seen this movie, but once you do see this movie. Please drop a comment below and tell me what you thought of it. Or if you got to go see it um, before on the 25th, I mean, last week when I wanted to go see it as well, um, drop those comments and tell me what you thought about this movie. All right, guys, until next time, this movie X is out. I'll see you guys.